Welcome fellow airsoft players and enthusiasts, channel host Marshmallow. And in this series we are going to be tackling the Crytek LMG, uh, more specifically the upgrades that we're going to put into it. Uh, this will be a multi-part series, but a great one nonetheless, so stick around. Okay, so I've got the gearbox reassembled and I've hooked up the Aster Gate uh, USB link. Comes right into where normally the battery goes, and then there's this cord that will hook into the computer and we will be hopping over to that in a second. Also make note that you can do this on your cell phone via the app, however, obviously this doesn't fit into the phone unless you've got a certain adapter. Um, what I did is, instead of going that route, is I bought a USB, or not USB, a, um, like the connection to go from the gate link to my cell phone via the charge cord so that uh, I got that on Amazon I can put that in the link as well that's just a way to be able to use it on your cell phone so if I was at a field or something and rate of fire was too high etc something I could change it literally on the fly right there so with that we will be hopping over to the app to do the initial sensor tests okay so here's the uh, software for your gate aster a program. Now the software in and of itself is free to download. Uh, it's that little chip that I showed you earlier that's usually what you're paying for. Uh, currently it's running off a of beta 4 version. I just had to update it and um, when you get into these softwares usually they will let you know when an update is there. So right now I'm going to go ahead and hook up the USB link and it should be recognizing the uh, version of the link and then soon recognizing the actual uh, MOSFET, which all three it has. And the beta version right here, they have some other ones, and initially I was running off of the beta one, but with this new uh, one they released, beta two is available. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and install that new one now. So it's going to take a couple seconds. Um, when you're actually looking at your USB link, you will see the color turns like a yellow, amberish color as it does this. So we'll wait a second, we'll let this uh, install its firmware into the new uh, MOSFET. Now I'm not too familiar with uh, if you were to do this on your cell phone, if it would do the same thing as far as installing the firmware and all that. I think the app is actually very limited, but um, that's something to look at. Now this uh, software is specifically for the Aster. They have a different one that you can download for the Titan and it will show that. Okay, so firmware is updated successfully. So right now what I want to do is go down to general and right here is what I was talking about earlier with that, those sensors on the sector gear. So I'm going to physically move them very slowly and see if we can trip that sensor and hopefully we will. Yep, right there, see that? It break. All right, so that's good. So that means that we didn't put uh, too much shims and I would have had to remove that one if it didn't break. So that is a good sign. So that first test is good to go. Uh, battery protection's on, safety limit off, cycle detection on. Active break, we'll leave that. Okay, so now here comes the trigger. Now before we get into that, if you can hit the subscribe button, hit the like, leave your comments, they're important to me. It helps give me some good feedback on things that I can improve or things that you all liked. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Which, um, before I do that, let me get the selector to make sure that uh, this is calibrated. So right now, it is switched into safe, which I will double check. Yes, it is. I will hit next, move it into semi, 
click that there, and then hit next, put it into auto. Click it into the auto. And I see that it looks like we're good. So now I've got that. So let's switch to semi. Yep, moves to semi, switch to safe, moves to safe. Perfect. So that plate is good to go. And we can recalibrate this later if need be when I get everything reassembled if it's a little bit off. I might do that anyway, but I want to initially do it now before I got too far down the way. So now that we got that set, uh, we're going to look at the trigger. Now this is the trigger sensitivity where we can calibrate that and set it. And then we can also change it to where we want. Now it's saying pull the trigger and press next. So I will pull the trigger all the way to the rear, hit next, and release it, and hit next. So now it's doing its shenanigans. Okay, so it looks like we're good there. So as I pull the trigger back, you should see, yep, just barely start to see this. And then it lets us know right where the brake is, which for me, uh, that's a little higher than I want. Um, I'm going to, so double clicking on it, you can change where it hits. So like if I move it there, when I hit right about there, that's where it'll break and it will fire. So I'll leave that there. All right, nothing else here is uh, that big a concern. I mean, the pre cock and rate of fire control. This is might come in handy for uh, later on down the way if I need to change that rate of fire if I'm too high. But um, for now, I'm going to leave that off. But that's just an option if I need it to. So sector's good. The magazine mode. There's a couple different things it can. You can set like here with 30. You can say even though you're going to use a high cap or a mid cap magazine, it can make it to where it won't fire until you reload it. So it can act like a 30 round if you were trying to practice like that. Okay, alerts and warnings. I do want to check that, make sure everything is good. Okay, uh, diagnostics. This is where, um, if you have some type of error that comes up, I'll give you an example in a second, but uh, if you have some type of error that comes up and your MOSFET will not work until you physically clear it from this screen here. What happened to me in my previous one actually is I had the positive wire on my motor break. And upon doing a test, when the battery was hooked up, put it in the semi, when I went to pull the trigger, it detected that there was a break in there. And when I got on my computer, I saw that that was the case. So when I pulled everything up, we repaired it, did the whole nine, put it back together and put the battery back on, went to test fire it again, it still did not work and it made my head scratch. So when I came back here, I'd seen that error and there was actually a spot there to um, clear it. If I should get one like that again, I'll try to show that, but that's one thing to make note with that. And here's just your BB counts, which you can reset and all that. So if you, um, if you want to see after a milsim or after a practice what you went through. So that's the uh, programming software. Um, you can buy uh, a bigger or another packages up way where you can change even more settings, but for the time being, this is just the basic. So that's that, and we will continue on with the gearbox upgrade.